I, mean, I used to manage school places, uh, and at the time when local authorities at least, you know, some did it well, some did it not so well, but they were able to kind of have some coherence in the system. And I know that in order to get parents at least a reasonable chance of getting the child in the school that they, that they prefer, you've got to have about 10% surplus places. That's what makes the system work. Once you start getting more than that, then it's too expensive and as an authority or whoever's dealing with it, you've got to deal with that. If it gets less than that, that's when you get real problems in the system and that's what's happening in parts of London. Now, the last government, um, and this is where we were highly critical, were putting huge amounts of money into free schools, largely secondary, in areas that had surplus places at secondary and yet also in the same authorities, I remember Bedford, um, had, were, were projected to have something like a 25% shortage of primary, and yet they were putting their money into secondary, and the same things happened in parts of London. So we've got some real crisis coming up in primary, and nobody is managing that anymore. That's the problem. Local authorities still have the legal responsibility for managing school places, but absolutely no power in which to do it. <laughs>